Hi, welcome to the 8th chapter in manual testing that is types of testing. This video is brought to you by Ankpro Training. Now let's see what are all the topics I am going to cover in this video that is what is software testing and its methods, white box testing and its types, advantages and disadvantages of white box testing black box testing and its types advantages and disadvantages of black box testing difference between white box testing and black box testing gray box testing advantages and drawbacks of gray box testing and possible interview questions on this topic now let's see what is software testing Testing is process of verifying the behavior or functionality of an application against the stated requirement document. Uh, it is also called as the process of identifying or catching the defect in the software and verifying the functionality or behavior of an application or software against the requirement specification and execution of program with the intention of finding the defect in the software is also called software testing. The main lead testing is process of identifying the defect in software. In this process, if the application is deviated from its behavior, we log defects and rectify the issues. Now let's focus on what are software testing methods. There are three methods of testing that is white box testing, black box testing and gray box testing. Now let's see one by one in detail white box testing. White box testing is done by developers. This testing is based on the knowledge of internal logic of an application's code. It is also known as glass box testing, open box testing, structural testing, transparent testing, etc. Internal software and code working should be known for, the, for this type of testing. Tests are based on the coverage of code statements, branches, paths and condition. It is the testing of each and every line of the code in the program. Developer do white box testing, sends the software to the testing team. The testing team does black box testing and check the software against the requirement and finds any defect. If there is a, any defect, they will send it to the developer. The developers fix the defect and again they will do white box testing and send it to testing team. Fixing defect means the defect is removed and the feature is working fine. Now let's see the types of white box testing. The first one is path testing. The next one is loop testing, conditional testing, unit testing, testing from memory point of view, testing from performance point of view. Now let's see the advantages of white box testing. Code op optimization by exposing the hidden bugs. Transparency of internal coding structure which is helpful in deriving the type of input data needed to test an application effectively. Covers all possible parts of a code so a software engineering team can conduct application testing. Enables the programmer to introspect because developer can carefully describe any new implementation. Test cases can be easily automated. Gives engineering based rule to stop testing an application and provide a clear engineering based rule for when to stop the testing. Now let's see the drawbacks of white box testing. Some condition might not be untested as it is not realistic to test the every single one. And 
white box testing brings complexity to testing because tester must have a knowledge of the program including being a programmer white box testing requires a programmer with the high level of knowledge due, due to the complexity of level of testing that needs to be done defect in the code may not be detected and some condition might be untested as it is not realistic to test every single one now let's see what is black box testing black box testing is performed by test engineers black box testing is also a testing method black box testing means the testing in which internal structure or design is not known to the tester here knowledge of internal logic of an application's code is not required it is also called behavioral testing functional testing opaque box testing and closed box testing also black box testing is the language independent in black box testing we should have good knowledge of the functionality we don't need to have knowledge of internal structure in black box testing now let's see the types of black box testing there are many types in black box testing the first one is functional testing integration testing system testing acceptance testing smoke testing head up testing regression testing compatibility testing globalization testing performance testing security testing and exploratory testing we will see all these types of testing in detail in upcoming videos now let's see the advantages of black box testing since the testers and developers are independent of each other testing is balanced test is performed from the user point of view and not of the designers testers can be non technical in black box testing test cases are designed as soon as functional specifications are complete and black box testing is reproducible and efficient now let's see the drawbacks of black box testing only small number of inputs can be tested to test every possible input stream may take more time there is a probability of repeating the tests already performed by the programmer chances of having the undefined paths during the black box testing it is difficult to identify the tricky inputs if the test cases are not developed based on the specification these are all the drawbacks of black box testing now let's see the difference between white box testing and black box testing white box testing is done by developers wherein black box testing is done by test engineers in white box testing the test the developers will look into the source code and test the logic of the code wherein in black box testing verifying the functionality of an application again is the requirement specifications white box testing should in developer should have knowledge on internal design of the code no need to have a knowledge of internal design of the code in black box testing in white box testing developer should have knowledge of programming no need to have a knowledge of programming in black box testing for test engineers now let's see what is gray box testing it is the combination of white box testing and black box testing this testing is performed by both developers and test engineer the main goal of the gray box testing is to search for the defect if any due to improper structure or improper usage of the applications 
A black box tester is unaware of internal structure of the application to be tested while a white box tester has access to the internal structure of the application. The grey box tester partially knows the internal structure which include access to the documentation of internal data structure as well as algorithms used. Grey box tester requires both high level and detailed document describing the application which they collect in order to define the test cases. Grey box testing is beneficial because it takes the technique of black box testing and combines it with the code targeted systems in white box testing. Grey box testing is based on requirement test case generation because it presents all the conditions be before the program is tested by using the assertion method. A requirement specification language is used to make it easy to understand the requirement and verify its correctness. Now let's see the advantages of grey box testing. Testing performed from end user point of view rather than developer point of which helps to find out all the defects that developer missed. It offers the combined benefits of black box testing and white box testing. Provides clearly defined roles for users and developers during testing. Works well for large code segments and grey box testers can design excellent test scenarios. Now let's see the drawbacks of grey box testing. Grey box testing may be redundant if the application developer has already run, to run a similar test cases. The ability to go over the code and test coverage is limited since access to the source code is not available. Because testers have a limited knowledge of the process, it is not considered an efficient testing method. Testing every potential input is too time consuming and unrealistic meaning certain program path will not be tested. And let's see the possible interview questions on this topic that is the first one is what is software testing and its types what is white box testing and its types what are all the advantages and disadvantages of white box testing what black box testing and its types what are all the advantages and drawbacks of black box testing Difference between black box testing and white box testing. What is grey box testing? And what are all the advantages and drawbacks of grey box testing? Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.